how you guys are doing now how's your progress so far so yeah like we started building the dashboards for the analytic project mm -hmm. so i built one dashboard like i might build like one or two more so okay. i can show you like just yeah give me please, a show. please tell me what you have done what are you going to do yeah. and uh, talk like a proper developer that what researches you have done what you have found okay. out of the data okay and uh, how you have presented it on the tableau worksheet level what calculations you have used and what oh, your dashboard okay. talks about so tell me the entire journey and if you can switch on your video and tell then i will see your confidence level as well if it is possible okay just give me a moment opening from my laptop everyone is able to see correct <clears throat> So uh, this yeah, is I'm... the you are okay. able to see correct yeah I'm able to see. so okay so like in here we are dealing with the insurance claim in this one we have forty four fields and we have total one zero zero two rows in that we have different fields which will tell why the fraud is occurring like we will try to solve the problem like why the fraud like how many frauds are occurring from different categories like. the people who are educated what is the education level of that people we will take some of the fields and we will tell what the fraud is happening so first of all we will see the democratic democratic or customer democratic like how they are distributed so here the gender distribution so total cases of the insurance are like 1002 in that 465 are male and 537 are female and in that they are the different educational level that is they have done master they are done college or phd or high school in that these are the occupational details in which what field they are working this is the education level and this is on the occupational field like in which field they are working and this is the age wise distribution like how many people are distributed in which age Like if you see, like in the bin of thirty to forty, they are total four zero two customer, and in forty to fifty field, there is three eighteen customers. So, okay. Okay. for till now, this was my analysis. Like still, I am working on it. You are still working on it. Okay, so that means the dashboard yeah. is not yet completed, right? Uh, like yesterday, Chetan showed us like he has created like four to five dashboards. So, uh, like. so i took idea i took an idea from chetan and i thought like i should also build different like five to like four to five dashboards in which i will produce like first is uh, customer demographics mm -hmm. after that i will produce like how like this incident things are happening if you mm -hmm. see like this incident type incident state so mm -hmm. like this way for every dashboard i will choose a theme and i will uh, like at last i will conclude that okay sounds good good yeah. work but uh, when you are working on any dashboard the first thing okay. that uh, should be presented on the dashboard are the kpis like the way we okay. did for the uh, prototype dashboard if you have seen that on the top there are a few yeah, yeah. because those are the numbers that will come into picture okay so the end user okay. is more interested in the numbers and then okay. the chart should follow in and also in your dashboard okay. it should be uh, mm -hmm. interactive so i have i could see that there are no use of filters as of now though you mentioned that yeah, it's yeah. updated so but this will be my advice that try to put filters to ensure that okay i can the end user should be able to interact okay okay so those things keep in mind when you are building a dashboard okay just presenting yeah, sure. two yeah. charts like this is not a complete uh, is not a good representation through visualization okay Okay. So, though your analysis is good, really point I'm really happy the analysis that you did, but mm -hmm. presenting it, it should be more means. Uh, what should I say? It should be subtle at that same time. It should be aggressive. That means the end user should feel confidence that I'm getting much mm -hmm. more informations in this dashboard. So now what okay. is happening? I can only see its four charts. Though these four charts, charts are nice, right? what you are, the insights of the business that that you could figure out is also good. however it mm -hmm. is still not making an impression in the mind 
okay yeah correct and also when you are creating the dashboard uh, and when you are specially presenting the dashboard mm -hmm. try to ensure that uh, the dashboards are in line that means see if you see gender distribution uh, g is capital mm -hmm. d is small so that means you are yeah. uh, maintaining first letter as capital and everything as small however small it is not uh, even throughout uniform, the dashboard yeah, okay. yeah uniform, not uniform yeah, yeah. so yeah. these are some of the things uh, okay the male and female pie chart that we have shown it could have been better because okay. it is uh, looking like 50 50 percent totally so try to come okay. up with some other chart that will actually help me to distinguish the difference between the two okay okay and yeah. Uh, yeah rest i'll check the layout at the end i'm i'm oh, i'm yeah. hoping you have created that using the layout uh, yeah yeah I, I have created i'm created by using the layout what you have taught us like okay it was yeah okay fine cool yeah. good job so far you have used the logo and everything is looking good but uh, mm -hmm. yeah try to build more means uh, it should look like an experienced one Okay, like Chetan, oh, if you see okay. Chetan's dashboard, you can see that there are so many pictorial representation of data he has done. It's yes. a really great. I was really impressed when I, when yesterday Amol sir shared me his uh, dashboard. I was really happy. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, so my expectation is not like that, but uh, yes, if you can mm -hmm. build something since you have got an idea now, so I think mm -hmm. you can also do it. Okay. Okay, yeah. So good job done, Manish. I'm happy, but uh, yeah, trying yeah. to uh, yeah, something. like yeah, the feedback was really good. Yeah, thank you because this was my first time, so I, really I can that feedback. Yeah. I can understand. No problem. Great yeah. job. So anyone who wants to present and yeah. uh, please explain the entire journey and if possible, switch on your video so that I can see the confidence level when you are speaking because when you will go for live interviews, you need to explain in front of camera. So that should be the habit from now we need to develop. Yes, Raju. Uh, good morning, Deep. Actually, only focusing on uh, claim part, a total claim and injured by and into uh, total claim by uh, occupation and a hobbies, a relationship. And Show me the data source. Uh, so when you are presenting, Raju, always uh, start means do not directly start with the content. Okay, try to give us some kind of introduction, and then show the data source what you have uh, what you have got, and then explain the data source a little bit, and then what type of connections you have uh, done with the data source. Have you created any kind of relationships between the worksheets that you have? Whatever things means give a background. So it, it should be like a trailer kind of a thing. And then you need to explain with the story. Okay. okay. Yes. Now you can proceed. Yes. Actually, I'm connecting to the data to the data source. Then I uh, got to the, in the physical area. Then after I saw the data, uh, what is the data? Uh, what type of data? Uh, so where is I your uh, data source means which sheet have you pulled in? Actually, it will take loading. Okay, it is loading it. Okay, no problem. Uh, first, uh, I'm taking total insurance claims to use of count. Why the load time of your data is so high? Have you figured out? Actually, storage issue, I think. And then uh, I did a top five uh, cars injury claim by current year and previous year. Top five cars like B okay. BMW, Chevrolet, Dodge, Chubb, Chubb, and uh, current year and previous year values. Then year and collision type I did. Mm -hmm. And occupation, I created a calculation field by uh, number of records equal to one. 
uh, that that I will get uh, occupation by number of record. Nice. And occupation occupation by total injury claim. Car type. Uh, uh, car type and year total claim amount. Mm -hmm. Number of claims by uh, car type records and total claim amount like uh, did and did number of uh, records by like male or female how much yet? This is. Total claim amount before injury claim amount and education by did and occupation by record education level injury claim amount. So lots of KPIs you have developed. I'm really happy. Yes, this is the dashboard. Show me the dashboard and then I did one pie chart. Uh, it is. Okay. Show me your dashboard. That's fine. I have understood that lots of KPI, lots of uh, insights of the business you could figure out. I'm happy. Uh, now talk about the dashboard that you have created out of these KPIs. Okay. And what's the what's the message or what's the actually? Uh, yes, yes. I am. What I give here output is I am totally focusing on claims part. Okay. Incidence claims board uh, occupation by a number of records like I did this, mm -hmm. but not completed. Then after yesterday, I did some uh, bump chart with six and uh, like male or female uh, total claim amount and mm -hmm. sunburst chart using sunburst chart. Uh, here I will use uh, state nice. and car, car type and state uh, number of vehicles involved. Very good. And funnel, funnel chart using. Very nice, Raj. Great no, job, Dan. Uh, the analysis that you did is really very good. You have created lots and lots of KPIs. I'm really very happy. However, representing all the KPIs in a dashboard should also be a skill of a Tableau developer. Okay. So now you have to, uh, as a, the same feedback goes to you as well, that when you are representing it on a dashboard, the KPI should be, that is the numbers should be on the top because that is the first thing that the end user will see my numbers based on the, the theme of the dashboard that you have put in means what, what this dashboard talks about. So the numbers are very important because people can't get into the details of all the bars, what's there on the top of the bar. People won't be able to get into that. Okay. So you need to uh, figure out something so that when you are representing the data on your dashboard, it should be great. I am very happy that you have uh, you have used lots and lots of charts and KPIs. You could analyze so many things and represented it with lots of charts. So that that's a good practice as well because it will help you to practice the multiple type of charts that's available that can be created on Tableau. But yes, at the end, the dashboard will speak about your data. So uh, try to ensure that the dashboard doesn't look too clumsy and the representation comes out in a better way. So show me, uh, scroll down your dashboard. Let me see uh, what's at the bottom. Just I will take a sample about like this, but I, I am not completed at time. I have created. Not completed uh, yet. Okay. Yes, yes. Two, or three, two or three dashboards as well. Adeep, I have one doubt is there. I am using first here, uh, horizontal, uh, also get I get, I get uh, layout is good. Uh, take vertical also is it good? Yes, yes, it can be done in vertical as well. If it is from a top down approach, then it will be a vertical. If it is a left to right approach, then it will be horizontal. Mm -hmm. And if so, from top to bottom, if you are going, so we will have to place the vertical container. And inside, if you have to go from left to right, it will be horizontal containers. Mm -hmm. So. That is fine. Ultimately, horizontal and vertical uh, doesn't matter a lot unless and until if you are aware that where you need to increase the height and width. So if you see on the top, the top row that you have created, like occupation by numbers of records, year and collision type. So the height is quite more compared to the bottom one, means yes. the second row. So herein, there is a difference that, that is clearly evident. So you need to figure out something wherein the size of the 
boxes should be in sync okay so that everything fits in properly and uh, try to develop some better layouts because it's like a block of building right stacking one over the other so instead mm -hmm. of this kind try to figure out a good layout as well try to do it on your own uh, i mm -hmm. can definitely share lots and lots of ideas but uh, come up with your ideas i will appreciate that and then i will share my ideas with you how it can be in a better way okay. but anyways really great job done raju that on this analysis board that you have created all, many many kpis and a good representation of the data as well but yes uh, try to make it interactive because without any interaction to the dashboard the dashboard is static basically static dashboard is something we will try to avoid and the end user won't feel it very uh, good it's not a feel good factor so try to use action filters as well in case required uh, use of parameters is also very important so try to use those kinds of things as well charts is okay but creation of calculated fields is also very important so use lod concepts wherever required and all and uh, yeah enhance this dashboard which is already it is good but make it better okay for tomorrow cool great thank you very much anyone else who wants to present his data